Welcome to Double RT Boxing. I am your host, Mr. A. And we are doing another breakdown and prediction. This is for the vacant IBO Continental Heavyweight Championship between Ali Baghaus out of Belgium taking on Martin Bacoli Ilunga uh, from the Republic of Congo. So the Dominic of the Republic of Congo, yeah, I believe that's what it was. Now, I know it's not it's the IBO and people don't really praise it up, but I said I think it's just around the states. Other countries they don't praise it up, but I think I believe other countries give it more respect than the states give the belts, you know. But hey, this helps the fighters. If you know me and you know this channel, I love belts. I love how it brings the fighters up. I, so I am all down for these guys fighting for the IBO Continental Heavyweight Championship belt. And that's what I'm going to do right here on WRT Boxing. Ready, ready, talk boxing. Here it is, breakdown and prediction. Well, before we get into it, you know, I always forget. I, I like to just straight talk fights, you know. But there are some people out there who like to hear numbers, so I was trying to give more numbers for the numbers, people. Um, Ali Boghouse is a 10 0 and 1. He's a 29 years old. He's 6 2 with 6 KOs. Martin, 9 0, 6 KOs. And so they both they both are about the same in their career. Now, their competition has been very poor. You know, for each fighter, they each fought a few winning records and they each fought a good amount of share of those 22s and 24s type people, you know, who are experienced but losing experience. But if I'm going to go with anything on that, I'm going to go with Martin is probably more, to me, from what I've seen and the number game, is the more polished fighter, more experienced, given his guy. His, his winning record, his winning, his last fight was someone 10-0-1. That was his last, his last opponent, Martin Bacoli's last opponent. Ali's last opponent was 3-2. and two. Now, just an idea, their winning records opponents, Martin faced two winning records, which was 10 0 and 1. His last opponent stopped him. And his other winning foe was seven wins, four losses. Now, as for Ali, the only winning record he really faced, oh, well, he faced two as well 15 and 3 with one loss. Mm -hmm. You know, it was an experienced guy, but the 15 and 3 and the other winning record was his last fight, 3 and 2. So you can see why I'm kind of leaning with Bacoli on this one. And then just going into the, the losing brackets, uh, um, Martin's losers were 10 and 57. You know, you expect that. 22 and 24. That sounds pretty bad, those two records, right? Then you go to Ali's side. His his gimme fights were 3 and 27. 0 and 53. So yeah, even though they're both fighting those uh Padre experience foes you see who's probably getting the better experience out of those fighters you know zero and 53 10 and 57 which one you think is going to give you a better better learning experience 22 and 24 3 and 27 you know you see what i'm saying like yeah you're going to win you post a win but you also got to learn and build your craft and who are you going to learn it from so Obviously, you can't find those fights. So I'm just going with boxing, what I see, watching boxing, my not my whole life, but you know what I've seen and learning and watching boxing. That's enough of that. Now let's do the breakdown and prediction. Feet and legs. Ali Baghaus is the quicker of the two with his feet. He could go in and out. He could rush you. He could rush you. He's he's a, he's a Go getter style combinations fast. So his feet allows him to rush you. He bends down with his legs to give some good um, body shots. So he uses his legs for good leverage. His feet to pressure you. So as far as Bacoli, I 
think with the experience he has for it, he's more of a, a patient boxer. So his feet are more about just being about positioning for the next punch, proper spacing. His he's not a mover. He's like he doesn't fight like him, but his like the way he sets up, the way he goes a bond set himself up. It's kind of like a Lennox Lewis, very slow, methodical. You know, because he, he's not fighting like Lennox. Don't get don't don't get that. Whew, don't get it all spaghetti noodled up. You know, twist it up. Don't get it all twisted up. So, so with the legs, for this type of fight, and just fighting period, I always, they always say, hey, a jab wins you the match. And you can't have a good jab without proper spacing. So I'm going to go with the feet. You know what? Forget it. Better feet belongs to Ali. Faster feet, better legs. Martin's a little slow as feet. But he does good stuff with them. Um, defense wise, now this is like I said, it's not a lot of film of these guys out there. More of Bacoli than Ali, Boghouse. Now, defensive wise, Boghouse from Belgium, he just kind of rushes you, so he uses his. His defense is kind of his onslaught of pressure. This is where he leans on you. But when he's on defense, he's more of a, just a high guard. Just leaning back to back from what I've seen. His, 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 his opponent wasn't giving him too much to play defense on. So it's kind of really hard to judge him. But from what he was showing, he's more of just a high guard. Eat up on the arms guy and kind of just lean to the side and just his like I said, his pressure is his his offense is his defense. While Bacoli, Bacoli, um, Ilanga. I don't know why he doesn't go by Ilanga. He goes by Bacoli a lot. Martin Bacoli, Ilanga. He he's like I said, he's he's. He's more of a traditional boxer. You can see the way I forgot his coach name, but the way they're training him is more traditional boxing, spacing, you know. So he's high guard, he's on the back foot, leaning back, but he does once in a while lean back a little bit too much with his hands down. But he he bends down for a big man pretty good. Um Ali was six two, I don't know if I said that. I can't find the height on um Ilanga. But I'm pretty sure he's gonna be around the same height for so for a big man, he shows pretty good waist movement, bending down. He does the high guard, and he just steps back. You know, that's about, that's from what I could see of him. So on the defense wise, I said all I seen from Ali was he pressures you, and he he had take the punches instead of actually trying to avoid them. So. I'm gonna go with Martin Bacoli Ilanga on this one. As far as punch speed, the whole arm category, uh, who throws the better combination, combination variation, speed, speed variation, jab for jab, power punching, all that arm category stuff. Straight out the gate, hand speed, Ali Boga, Bohaus. That dude got some pretty quick hands, man. Pretty quick hands. Jab for jab. Whew. Was Martin has a nice jab, and it's only improving. And I've seen his, his jab improve every fight. But the fact that Ali has a, he's quick with it, so I don't know who snaps it better. So I'm gonna go with Martin though. He's more just he. I think Martin could actually win a fight with just his jab. Um, with speed variation, it's gonna have to go with Ali on that one. Martin's just very, he goes with it. He, what he throws is what you're gonna hit. Good power though. Power, I'm gonna go with Martin. I think he has more one hitter quitter power than Ali. Ali has good power. I said his hand speed with the power make makes his power stronger. I think I think that's how he hurts his people. With that speed, with that power. Combination, this is it gonna be Ali. Ali all day. That dude, 
He has a hand speed. He, he tears up the body. He's a relentless body attacker. While um, Martin's more of a, a stylistic body, you know, a hook, he'll, he'll body jab you, which if you know my channel, you know Mr. A it loves the body jab, you know. So combination and speed and all that good stuff is going with Ali, power, Martin, jab, Martin. Now, how do I think uh, Martin can win this fight for the vacant IBO Continental Heavyweight Championship? Thumbs up if you're liking what you're hearing so far. If you're entertained by this video, this is another edition of Mr. A. Ihan Double RT Boxing. Thank you. Thank you. Help the channel grow. Thumbs up. Subscribe. I believe Martin has to keep that jab pumping multiple times. Feign it, triple it, jab him, and work the body. Work the body and do not be a stationary target. Work the body, Ali, because I said he's a pressure fighter with quick feet. Quick, he's, he's, he, he already uses a lot of energy for his fighting style. Take away some of his energy so he can't fight the way he wants to fight. Then for Ali, use your feet. Spin Martin around, his feet are slow. Body attack him, but he's already slow. Go in, so Ali needs to go in and out, change the distance body attack and he needs to work a jab he jab himself in and that being said i really have no idea who the house favorite is on this one um because it's not in anyone's home country so um i would probably think martin might be the house favorite due to like the to me he has a better competition you know that's the i think the house prediction is now as for right here you know how what we do we do those predictions on double rt boxing mr a is gonna go with the only thing i did forget i forgot how i think this is a 12 rounder it is for the championship i forgot what rounds these fights are if it's a 12 round fight because i'm going with a knockout for martin martin i do i do believe martin's gonna knock this guy out martin Martin Bacoli Ilanga will knock out Ali Boghouse. That is my prediction. If it's a 12 round fight, he's going to do it in the ninth. If it's a 10 round fight, I don't know why a championship fight would be a 10 round, but I just don't know about the IBO sometimes. If it's a 10 round fight, he would do it in the ninth. <laughs> why not? Why not? <laughs> I was going to go like the seventh or anything, but now these guys are going to fight for a while. So, ninth round knockout and the new IBO Continental Heavyweight Champion Martin Bacoli Ilanga thank you for watching thank you for your time please subscribe help the channel grow if I could if we could get this channel to 200 subscribers by the by before the new year that'd be awesome thank you guys but you know I'm asking for help I'm asking I can't do it please help thank you guys and ladies thank you